The menstrual cycle of fertile women usually lasts about a month. During this time, and under the influence of the body's own natural hormones, a tiny sac within the ovary containing an egg grows to about the size of a grape. At a point midway in the cycle, this egg is released from the ovary and ovulation occurs. Ovulation is also regulated by hormones. The egg, which from this moment on is ready for fertilization, then passes into the uterine tubes to await the arrival of fertile sperm. Ovulation is a naturally occurring event, and the desire to have children is a similarly natural instinct. But that instinct cannot always be fulfilled. The causes of unwanted childlessness are numerous, but so are the means of treating them. With the technique of intrauterine insemination, sperm is provided either by the male partner or by a third party donor whose sperm has been stored in a deep freeze sperm bank. Before insemination, the sperm samples are prepared in the laboratory. They are assessed for safety, quality, and quantity and then passed through a filtering system for grading and washing. With a syringe and fine tube, the prepared sperm cells are then introduced directly into the cavity of the uterus beyond the mouth of the womb and the cervix. They immediately make their own way towards the uterine tube. The objective of IUI is to bring these sperm cells as near as possible to the egg. Nevertheless, only the most mobile sperm cells will actually reach the egg and only one will penetrate the outer layer of the egg to achieve fertilization. But just as in everyday life, there are many times that fertilization fails and the cycle passes without a pregnancy. All these methods of assisted reproduction offer couples a good chance of bringing a healthy baby into the world. A consultation and thorough examination are necessary for each individual patient for finding the most appropriate treatment with the highest chance of success. Because female fertility decreases quite quickly after the age of 35, infertile couples should not delay seeking appropriate medical advice.